Welcome everyone, this is Sarabjeet. You may be watching this in our Facebook group or YouTube channel, Business Analyst and Scrum Master in Demand. Um, welcome you to this live session today. And this is a topic that I've got so many times, so I'm happy to cover it one more time. The topic for today's discussion is how to transition from a, uh, from a QA or dev into a business analyst or Scrum Master role. So this is a question that I get posed um, quite often um, but before we get started, let me know if you're watching this on uh, live with me or you're watching this as a replay. Um, just let me know in the comments <clears throat> whether you're watching this live with me or on a replay. And then in just 30 seconds, we'll get started. I'll show you what steps you need to take to transition into this role successfully. OK, so let's, let me know if you're watching this live or on a replay. And then in 30 seconds, we will get started and I'll show you um, how to transition successfully, okay? All right, so I have some comments coming through. Let's get started, you guys. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you for the business analyst role. We'll uh, focus on the business analyst role because that's where most of the questions are coming from. How do you transition successfully in a business analyst role if you've um, had roles previously as a QA or a dev? Um, area. So let me share my screen. And first, what I want to do is I want to cover the waterfall, right, scenario, the waterfall methodology. So generally, when we implement projects, and you're working as a business analyst, if you're in the waterfall scenario, you this is how generally your projects are done, you have requirements, you have analysis, design, coding, testing and operations, right. And in this scenario, if you're working as a QA, you're primarily working in this area. And if you're working as a dev, you're primarily um, engaged on this area, testing and operations. But as um, if you're working as a QA, you're, most of your day-to-day -day activities revolve around testing. You have some interaction with your dev. You may have some interaction with BAs, but majority of the time, your time is spent on testing um, what your developers have coded and then also um, helping and participating in uh, UAT, which is user acceptance testing um, areas. So with that said, if let's say, let's first take our uh, developers, right? Let's say if you are a developer and primarily you've been involved in coding, you know, working with QA to test and then defects in the operations area if, as, if and as they come up. You may have had some interaction with business analysts and PMs because you're working with them on timelines and such. So you may have had some interaction, but you don't really have the day-to-day -day experience or skill set of the areas that are that come before you. Generally, as a, a developer, you're handed either a BRD or technical specification documents or some sort of instructions on what needs to be coded or developed for a particular project. And so if you're wanting to transition into a business analyst or Scrum Master role, um, there's two things that I would highly recommend for you is for the first is knowing the framework, right? Understanding what is a business analyst role and what are the requirements for a business analyst on the day to day, right? And I myself don't believe in textbook knowledge because I feel that a lot of things in the textbook, such as the Babock, is a great reference for you to know what a business analyst role is, but it is way too much um, for somebody that doesn't know um, what a business analyst is for them to understand and grab all of those concepts. So to then the question becomes then, how do you understand the framework? How do you know what business analysts do day to day? And my answer to that is, you could do um, a volunteer project. If you are already working as a developer, you could talk to the PM and say, hey, I'm really interested in the BA role. Could Is there an opportunity for me to shadow one of the business analysts or connect with one of the business analysts that you already work with and say, hey, I'm interested in this role. Can you, can I shadow you for a week? Could we, uh, could you mentor me in that area? And the other way to do this is to go for some sort of hands-on training, right? Because the hands-on training now, there's lots of trainings out there for business analysts, right? Um, I would caution you to be mindful when you sign up for any training, make sure that they have some sort of hands-on exposure to it because 
Um, what you really want to do is understand what business analysts do day to day and the type of documentation that they produce. How are those documentation uh, produced? What is your role um, in working with your stakeholders? What is your role in working with your PM? What is your role in working with developers, QA, and the end-to-end -end cycle where business analysts are involved and work in this arena? Okay, so those are two options. The first one is to talk with your PM or BAs internally that you already work with and say, hey, could I shadow you? Could you help me understand this, this role? The second is to sign up for some sort of hands-on training, which will give you the understanding of, okay, well, how do you interact with stakeholders? How do you gather the requirements? How do you document those requirements? How do requirements go from requirements to now an implemented product. And because you're already in these roles as a dev and QA, you primarily have the end of the, the project lifecycle down pack, but you what you need um, help and support is in how do you gather requirements? How do you validate those requirements? How do you ask the right questions? How do you interact with stakeholders? How do you resolve conflicts? Which are the day-to-day -day activities that we as business analysts have to manage, right? And now, uh, let me know if there's any questions in the comments before I continue on to the testing for QA folks that um, may want to do uh, transition into a BA. So let me see if there's any comments. And so far, I don't see any. Okay, so I'll continue going on. And if you have comments um, later on in this in the presentation, um, please feel free to leave the comments. Uh, leave comments, um, and then I will get back to your questions at a later point, okay? So the other um, the question that I get often is, what is a QA? So if a, as a quality assurance analyst, as a QA analyst, if you want to transition into a business analyst or scrum master role, your um, things or line of items that I just talked about for dev are going to be very similar, right? Um, in your current role as a QA analyst, you have been primarily in this area, you know, working with developers um, to test what they've coded, um, finding defects, fixing those defects with um, your dev leads, and then um, during QA, UAT as well, user acceptance testing, that's where you're highly active. But generally, when you get the requirements, you are handed generally a BRD or an FRD, and you have to translate those requirements into test scripts or test cases. So that generally is what you're used to doing right now. But if you want to transition into a business analyst, two things. You can connect with a business analyst that you know already, have them give you guidance, or sign up for a training with practical hands-on experience that will give you exposure to all things that business analysts need to do to be successful in their roles, right? Um, I can't stress enough how important it is for you to understand the framework because we follow the framework, right? Um, all IT projects, no matter what domain they're in, whether they're in banking, whether they're in healthcare, whether they're in insurance, it doesn't matter what domain you're in, we're still to implement IT projects, we still follow the framework. So it's highly important that you know the framework and you have some practical hands-on experience in knowing and understanding what a business analyst role is. And, there, and then you can successfully transition into these roles, um, but without having the framework, without having practical hands-on experience, it becomes really, really difficult for you to transition. Okay, so that's 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 my um, advice to you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I'll stay on for a little bit longer to help answer any questions you may have. But I, I can't stress this enough. You got to know the framework. You got to have some practical hands-on experience. How do you get practical hands-on experience? Look for mentorship, look for a training program that gives you hands-on training, right? Um, in each of the aspects that business analysts are, are um, generally involved in, right? There's lots of training um, out there. Be careful which training um, program you sign up with. 
um, because there's lots out there and not all, all of them provide the hands-on exposure that you need to feel comfortable to show up at the interview, right? Because it all boils down to having the knowledge, but then being able to explain that in your interview process so that your experience is believable, right? And it shows that you actually have experience in this area. So I'll, I'll pause now for any comments or any questions you may have if you don't have any questions now, but then later once you're going throughout your day, you think of them, let me know, put them in the comments and I will get back to you. And then just a sales plug, we also have hands-on training for business analysts and scrum master areas. We have helped hundreds of people land business analysts and scrum master roles in the last 18 months. And even in the summer months, which are the slowest in the um, hiring season, many of our students have landed roles successfully. So if you're looking for a training, um, hands-on training, um, feel free to connect with us. Right now, we are only doing uh, live training or hands-on training for UK, US, and Canada, um, and Australia countries, just because the timeframes are a little bit same. Um, but for other countries, we are working on adding some of those options as well. So if you are in the market, if you have a uh, development background or a QA background and would like to transition, please connect with me and we'll help you get started and land it in a new role soon, all right? Uh, let me see, no, no comments so far. Um, we asked in our Facebook group what topics you want us to cover. We got so much, um, such a great response. We have training scheduled out till November of this year, just with the training topics you want to learn about. So please let us know what other topics you like to know. Go into our events area in our Facebook group to know what other upcoming topics we have for training for you. And I love um, this interaction. So please let us know what training and join us live for training sessions and let us know how we can help support this journey of yours into a business analyst and scrum master, okay? Still no comments. I will um, call it a day for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Our trainings are usually Sundays at 11.30 a.m. PST Pacific Standard Time. Please let us know, connect with us, and we'd love to be part of your journey. Thanks, and have a great weekend. Bye.